Hey guys, in this video I'll show you 10 different activities to make your classes extra fun, either online or in class. Let's take a look. Welcome to Andy the ESL Guy. If you're new here, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Cheers! So game one, I call touch your nose. So at the beginning of class, explain to your students when the teacher, when you, touch your nose. They all have to touch their nose. Whoever is last is the loser, okay? So play this game throughout your class and it's a great way to see who's paying attention, who's looking at the teacher. So for example, you're writing something on the board, you randomly touch your nose, Okay, you look around, some students are touching. Bam 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 bam. Oh no! KO! Bam bra 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 bam. Monkey! Woohoo! So this game uh, works better for online classes. So any cuddly toy or puppet that you have, how to play. On the screen, once the students can see your monkey okay or whatever toy you have they have to act like a monkey for example okay so if here is your screen the monkey you can place at the very corner okay like this so the first student to see the monkey acts like a monkey they are the winner they can ask a question or receive a point for their team <laughs> it's cold here in Chengdu today now for this game i call three three three. So you can play this at the beginning of each class and the first three tell me three things you like. Second three, three things you don't like. And the third three you can choose anything you want. For example, tell me three things you did today. So you can do this at the beginning of each class and try and have them vary their answers and you can vary the topic each time. So, after doing this for two to three months, hopefully your student's vocabulary would have improved a lot. Okay, so on to game number four. This game I call Spot the Keyword. So, at the beginning of class, your students and you can come up with whatever the keyword will be. So, for example, amazing. So, on the board, you write amazing. Now, during the class, when you say the word amazing, the first student to hear has to do something, okay? For example, count to five. So you're talking, oh, yesterday I had an amazing day. It was so good. One student stands up, one, two, three, four, five. They are the winner. This game I call higher or lower. Now, it's a number guessing game. Great fun if you're teaching numbers or simply as a warm up to class. So on a piece of paper, write down a random number. So you can start with one to 10 or one to 100, okay? So for example, I write 85. Keep this a secret. So the students have to guess the number, okay? So one student says 40, higher. The next student, 100, lower. Mm, 75, higher. 86, lower. Uh, 85. Bingo! Good job. This is a reading game and our students love this game. So what we have to do is assign a letter. So for example, letter T equals left. Okay? So you can do this individually so one student can read the passage or popcorn reading. So one word per student. If the first letter of a word is T, they shouldn't say the word. They have to clap, okay? So if I play this game in class, have all my students stand up, the first student can, for example, the first word is the dog went to, okay? So all the students stand up, dog went to. Oh no, two is letter T, so sit down. Start again from the next student, go one by one, until you have one student left standing. Now, to make the game gradually more difficult, oh, all you do is add different letters. So now, T and A also equal 
clap. Okay, I hope you have fun with this one, guys. Let's take a look at the next game. So, this game is called Guess What's Being Advertised. So, if you can't see already, I'm actually in my new school here, uh, which I opened with my wife a few months ago. So, if anyone is living in Chengdu, China, come over and check it out. All you have to do is show a short video clip of any TV advert and your students have to guess what is being advertised. This game I call the beep beep game. So in class when a student is standing by themselves or if they are ready to throw the dice, any time in class when there's one student standing, have something that can make a noise. So normally I have a small squeezy horn I keep in my back pocket. Okay, so randomly take out beep, beep. So the student holding the dice or going to answer a question then has to look here. Throw the dice, lands on number three, okay? Countries. So then they have to talk about countries for either 30 seconds or one minute. Try not to repeat the same information or list information and try not to stop. Okay, so you can play this throughout your class once, twice, three times, however many times you want. This game is an online game only. So all you have to do is say a sentence. For example, I like breakfast. So your students have to run off, find something related to breakfast. Okay, so they come back with maybe a bowl or some kind of food. Okay, so try again. I like watching TV in the living room. So they run off, maybe they bring back the TV remote control. So let's have a look at the last game. Okay guys, so the final game today I call What Will You Buy With A Million Dollars? So each student gets one million dollars. If they're younger, you can make it easier. Each student maybe gets one hundred dollars, one thousand dollars. So give the students twenty different options all totaling up to one million dollars. So some of the options might be worth one million. Some are maybe worth one dollar. Okay, so have them choose whatever they want to buy that totals one million and they have to explain to you why they bought what they did. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.